viewers, welcome to another episode on Plea for the People. What you just witnessed is a prelude that was filmed at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City. And a lot of the pieces that you just witnessed are by the one, the only, Edgar Degas. And uh, as you can tell, I have one in the background here. And I'm so glad that you're able to make it to our class today. And uh, we will be diving into a beginner's level online ballet class and we start with a warm up. Let's get started. Answers for our warm up exercise you can find something that you can hold on to. In my situation, we'll be using a chair. Uh, throughout the class, I'm going to be referring to the thing that you're holding on to the apparatus. It could be a chair, and it, or it could be a dresser, but make sure that you have two items. Get ready to do it uh, on both sides with your dancing today. Okay, so we're going to start facing our apparatus in its first position. First position is simply, let's just say you're standing right now like so. Uh, first position, you have to turn out and rotate from the top of your hips and face your toes, point your toes to the side, glue the heels together. Now you're simply in first position. It's almost like a winter coat, okay? You want to zip up this winter coat from the heels all the way zip, 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 throughout your center, okay? Just imagine everything needs to be together. Okay, you don't want to get cold. You don't leave your winter jacket open. You leave it closed so everything is together. Okay, and if I turn profile or facing my apparatus in my situation, it's going to look like something like this. Okay, so in this position, you're going to do two demi plies, and that just means bending up your knee. Okay, make sure that the knee is directly over your toes. Okay, you don't want to roll in or roll out. Make sure that you're very, very stable on both feet. The weight um, of your body is evenly distributed. So you're not leaning against one side or the other side. Okay, this is a very, very important concept. It's almost like if you have a very, very tight um, corset. If you're a lady, if you're a gentleman, just pretend that you have two hands uh, pressing towards your center, right? You want to keep it very, very still and upright. You don't want to bend your waist or arch your back or anything like that. Make sure that it's directly going down and up, down and up. Okay, we're going to do that twice. Again, that's called a plie. Plie and a stretch. And again, and a stretch. Then you're going to let go of your apparatus, find your balance, and your arms becomes almost like the letter O around, right? Your fingers are relaxed, they're just kind of apart, there's some space and air in between them. Elbows are stacked to the side. Then from here, you're going to lift them up to a high fist, okay? They're not so over the head that it pops your, your ribs out, right? You're going to maintain that alignment, okay? So you want to keep those hips in. Then from here, you're going to open your arms to the side. And you're going to bring them down and place them on your apparatus again. We're going to repeat it one more time. Plie and stretch again and stretch. Now you're going to reverse the arm position. Low and out and up and up and center and middle and down. Then you're going to do the plies portion one more time. Plie and a stretch. Plie and a stretch. Now we're going to do a grand plie. That means a deep or grand plie. So instead of stopping right here, you're going to keep going and you're going to slowly lift off your heels so that you can go down more. Again, the knees are still over those toes. Then you're going to come back through a plie, then stand. Okay, I know that's a little bit more of a workout than just a plain plie, right? You should be feeling it in your ankle, knees, hips, okay, and the muscles in your legs. And then we're going to do that one more time, plie and a stretch. Plie and a stretch, wrong plie, and a seven and eight. For the last part, we're just going to rotate your left foot to meet the right. Now you're going to become a, in a parallel position. And then we're just going to stretch forward all the way down. We're going to go through a tabletop flat back just to feel the hamstrings or the muscles right behind your legs. Stretching yourself out, just release, maybe even both arms, just let it go. And then slowly rolling back up. And finish the combo just like that. Okay, your arms are held a little bit in front of those hips. There is some space, and 
place and at the end. Okay. Again, the whole combination is simply two demi threes, two, three, and four arms, middle and up, side and down again, plie and stretch, two and stretch. By the way, you're you're not grabbing onto your life on your apparatus at all. No tension, just simply uh, tap your fingers gently on the back of the chair or wherever that you can hold on to, right? If you're on the left side, same thing, right? Um, yes, so you keep doing that, and then we're gonna reverse our arms side up and down again. Four, two, three, and four, wrong. Three, eight, and seven, and eight, again. And two, three, and four. On the way down and up, you want to use some muscles of your leg and you want to engage your core muscle. Rotate. Maybe raise both arms if you wish, and then roll up. Six, wish. Okay? Arms for ears. Plie. And straight. It's okay if you hear a little crack of your ankle. That's totally normal or knee. You're just warming up your joints. Arms. Little. myself to switch my furniture now. I'm facing you directly and this in ballet is called en face, just facing front, another way of saying it. Um, so in this position we begin in first again, what we just heard. Now I'm going to prepare our arms front and side. When you're preparing your arm, you're going to lift up and you want to look at it, almost like you want to take a selfie or something from like this high angle. And then, but you're just, you're not doing this hitchhiking finger on top, this thumb, right? It's in. So you're just looking like this and you're holding your apparatus like so. And then from here, you're just going to open it, almost like the parlor's door going to the side. And now you're held, your arm is held in second position. Okay, we're going to be um, sort of staying in this position for the duration of our class a lot of the time. So this is a very crucial moment um, of how to just prepare your arm to the side in most of our combinations that we're about to learn. Okay, so once you're here, you're going to do two demi plies. Just keep your arm open to the side. Two and three and a four grand plie. As you're grand plie, you want to extend your arm. You're extending your palm down, and you're gonna follow it, and you keep going with your knees. Seven and a eight. Then you're gonna rotate in parallel, and you're gonna fold forward. Two, rolling up. Four, two. Your other arm is up, and then from here you don't want to lift your shoulders or have any tension or any kind of uh, twisting motion. You want to keep it very squared on. Then you just want to kind of arch back. Right? You don't want to throw your neck out or anything, but you want to kind of gently uh, gaze at your elbow crease here, okay? And then you want to lift your chin up, and then you want to go back, as far back as you can. You don't have to go all the way back, right? Six, turn it out. Again, from the top of the hips, this rotation is coming from the in inside part of your thigh, wrapping it around as if I have like a TheraBand. I, wish, I so wish I could give you a tactile cue right now, but like this rubber band is around your neck, or around your thigh, inner thigh, and I'm just pulling it. And so therefore, you have no other way but to rotate out, to go outwards, right? 
Then from here, we're gonna turn to second, lower the outside heel, adjust the inside heel, so that now your central of gravity is in place, okay? From here, you should be able to, again, lightly, lightly, um, put your hand on your partner, ballet, which is your apparatus. Then we're gonna do the same idea in second position. This is now your second position in ballet. And the, uh, the width of your distance should be about a foot apart or so. Then from here, you're gonna do two demi plies, just like in first, then a grand plie, same idea, in first seven, and a, again, repeat, two demis, and a grand, six, seven, now, we're gonna adjust the inside foot, pondu, or to stretch the outside foot, then from this position, you're gonna bring it, going through first on the way, but then you're gonna place it right in front of the instep of your standing, um, or your inside foot, right? So that's your third position in ballet. Then we're gonna do the same idea in third, two, three, four, a grand plie, and seven, and eight. From here, instead of going parallel like in first, okay, you're gonna keep yourself in turn out, then you're gonna fold all the way down, two, and a rolling up, four, and going back, and a six, seven, now tendu, coming into a fourth position. Now, as you saw in the prelude from the museum, you have this very famous Degas statue, and that is the little dancer, the little bronze dancer with the tutu on it, okay? That little dancer is essentially standing in this position, and it's the fourth position of ballet. So for our fourth position part, we're gonna kind of be um, paying homage to her. So we're gonna do a plie, a and stretch, and a plie, a and stretch, arms low, bring it up high, and then from here, we're just gonna get into the little dancer's position, you're gonna bring your arms back, then you're just gonna stand there, maybe look up a little bit, like how proud she is in that little statue, then you're gonna revert, I mean repeat, plie A and stretch, plie A and stretch, arms slow, arms high, and bring them back, and that's the end of our plie exercise, you just stand like a little dancer. Okay, again, the whole thing, let's just review. I know I talked a lot. And uh, so we're gonna prepare, plie and a stretch, plie and a stretch. We're on plie, seven and eight. Rotate in forward, back, turn it out, time to second. Plie and stretch, plie and stretch. We're on six, seven, eight, plie, stretch, plie, stretch. Do the same thing, but twice. Now coming into third. Plie and stretch, plie and stretch, ground six, seven, eight, four, two, three, four, back, six, seven, four, plie, stretch, plie, stretch, low, high, back, plie, stretch, plie, stretch, and finish. Okay. Standing, raise up your heels on the floor, we go, plie, and stretch, repeat, and a stand, and a rock, plie,
dancer, so we're going to move to the left side. Here we go. So now your other arm is on another piece of furniture at home. And now we're going to rotate parallel on the other side. Stay and lift. Go back. position and then just like what we worked on when we presented our arms to prepare ourselves we're going to go forward and open so from this position we're going to do two slow tondus to the front and it simply means to stretch and so for this for this um, exercise to the front you're going to be leading with your heel so you're already thinking of the mechanics of your turnout happening right so you're going to lead with your heel you're going to bring it to the front you're going to go through half point then you're gonna go point all the way with your heels up. Make sure that you're not pointing so hard that it becomes sickled. You don't wanna do that, right? That's um, very unhelpful in ballet, and plus it's gonna probably um, give you a higher chance of getting injured, so you don't want that. So that's why you're turning it out. You should feel the inner thigh really kind of really activated right now, and it's wrapping to the side, and your heel is presenting it to the front, Okay, then on the way back, let me show it to you to the side. You want to drop the heel, I mean, drop the toes and reversing the way that you went there. Okay, drop it down, drop it down, drop it down, and you're going to lead with your toes back in order to um, also keep your heels forward. Okay, so that's the correct way of doing the tanju. I know there's a lot going on, right? It looks simple but it's actually harder than you think at first when you're learning it, right? Just like any other skill. Same thing to the side. Side, going through half point, then full point, and your weight is distributed on the supporting leg. This is called the supporting leg, the leg that's not really doing any of the dancing, right? So you don't wanna kind of, you know, leave your weight back here on your heel. You should feel the weight right over that supporting foot so that you can maybe slightly lift off the heel a little bit and maybe shove a piece of white paper underneath it or something, okay? That's the idea that you want to stand in ballet. It's always like you're on the leg, right? Because eventually you're going to get rid of your apparatus or your best friend and you have to come to the center and be all on your own to do, do your tondus or whatever that you're doing, right? So, um, so you're doing tondu to the side and closing, same idea. Okay, you're gonna do that twice. Then we're gonna to go to the back. The back is a little bit difficult as a beginner student because you need to learn how to do it properly. So we're gonna lead with your toes going to the back. So you're already thinking rotating, okay, which is the opposite of going to the front, which is leading with the heel, right? Now you're gonna lead with your toes to the back. Then you're gonna to point to the back and you're keep these squared hips at all times, okay? It's almost like a pair of headlights you're driving in the snow or you're driving somewhere right? It's facing this way, right? So you don't want to do anything like this, opening it too far, 
Okay, so you want to do that twice as well. And then we're going to do two fast to the side. Don't worry, I'll review it again. Then we're just going to add a plie. That's the whole sequence. And then we have to reverse the whole thing. Okay, in ballet, we have the most, most of the times we need to reverse all the patterning from the front then to the back as well. So the whole thing, we go front in, tong do, and in, repeat. Seven in, eight, and side in, two. Weight is on your supporting leg. Seven in, eight, going back. Two and a three and four, back. Six and a seven and eight, out and a in, out and a in. Plie, 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 rest and reverse. Now back into two slow tongue juice. On the way in from the back, the heel comes down first and rotates side and a two. Make sure that this knee is very, very straight and you're not lifting anything to place, right? You're going to the side, go through half point, then full point, in and a in. Front and a two and a three e and a four. Everything is on the floor in tendu. Side and a in, side and a in. Plie, 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 plie again. Now we're gonna repeat the whole thing, going from the front, then reverse it from the back, adding your arm positions or pull or bra. Pull or bra just means carriage of the arms. Uh, the foot stays the same, but the second time we repeat it, your arm goes up when you're going to the front. Three and a four. It should feel a little intuitive too, right? It should feel nice to have your arm up when you're doing eight counting to the front. Six and a seven and a eight. Then to the side, you're going to match your arm to the side. You're going to open your arm to match the side. And four, five, and a six, and seven, and eight. Then to the back, you're going to extend your arm forward in front of your nose like this, okay? Like that. Two and a three and four. Again, repeat it in a seven and eight. Make sure that that leg is directly behind you as well. Then side and then two and then three and then four. Plie, plie, plie. This is all the same. Reversing from the back, you got to think and anticipate a little bit before. So you got to go close after you do the... Um, the plie, two, three, and down, so that you can go up with your arms. Two and a three and four, slow, six, seven and eight. Where are you going next? Right, to the side, so then your arm goes to the side as well. So you're already thinking, like a dancer here, seven and eight. You're gonna go through a low position to carry your arm up to the front. And for, with more practice, this will come more naturally, dancers, don't worry. We go side and a two, three e and a four, Plie A, plie A, seven, and finish, okay? That's a lot. However, let's just go for it. We learn the best by doing in ballet, so all you do is to follow along with me. Okay, let's go have some fun with this. Here we go, dancers. Prepare, we go front and point, in and in again, to the side and out, in and in, repeat. Going back and tongue to the back. Keep those hips square. We go two to the side. Plie time. And repeat to the back and Now let's do without the arm. So really think about your feet. And you're pointing. Good. Closing in. Leading with your toes inside and in. Inner thighs activated. And squeeze them together as well. We go front. Our is up. Make sure that the shoulder strap is not up. Now to the side. In and in. Take your time. Down and up. Two to the side and out and in and, and out and in. Plie, plie. Last bit reverse to the back. Feeling your legs doing the work. Up and our goes up. Now, two points to the side, and the in, plie, and finish. 
Let's go over to the left side. Not bad, answers. Good. Two counts. Out one and two. A and A. Again, repeat. To the side. You have to point your toes as much as possible. Good. Now going to the back. Keep that foot right behind your, your head. There we go. Good. Out and in. Out and in. And A. Reverse. Continue to lift very, very tall on that supporting leg. Remember the paper idea that you want to place a piece of white paper underneath that standing heel if you needed to. Going to the front. Repeat. Two quicks out and in and in, out and in. in, in. Okay. Adding our bottom row, we go front. Good. To the side. You got it. Going back. Two to the side and in and side and in. Okay. Last step. Reverse from the back. You don't have this arm too high up, right? It's directly in front of your gaze. Good. Now to the side. Two. In and in, side and two, to the front. Nice, we go side, in, 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 point, point, in, plie, and finish with our arms low. Okay, dancers, we're going to move on to our second tendu combination, and this time, instead of starting at our home base, which is first position, we're now going to be starting in third position in ballet, like so. You're going to begin with the same arm position that we've been practicing, then you're going to do two tendus to the front, closing in third instead of first, and side, now you're going to cross it to the back in third, side crossing back to the front. Just one to the front, then just one to the side. Then you're gonna to go to the back, back, same idea. And then the fourth time when you turn to doing the singles, you're gonna add a plie on that supporting knee. And your arm is gonna go out and away. Remember this uh, knee must be over those toes in the standing foot, so there's no rolling happening, and it looks like that, you're going to close into the back and third. Now you're ready to reverse it all. Keep your arm out to the side, back and a in, and a back and a in. We go side and across front, inside and across back, just once each direction, and a front. Now we plie front and our arm goes up. And a close. Now we're just going to repeat the whole thing as is, twice. That's all there is to it in this combination, okay? Front and then close, front and then close, side, cross back, side, cross front, one, what, uh, one to the side, then one to the back, and add a little plie and a quarter bra. Reverse, two, side, two, one, 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 one with a plie, repeat. We go to the front, four, two, Bring it into third, side, crossing back, side, crossing front, once to the front, once to the side, one more to the back, and we play the game we begin, reverse to the back, now to the side, once each way. Repeat. Let's try 
the left side answers. It means to disengage, and it's very similar to a tondu. However, now it's going to come off of the floor into the air. So we're going to begin this combination in third position, arms the same preparation. We go out instead of a again instead of a tondu, which is on the floor. You're going to be propelling your leg a little bit off of the floor, and it almost looks like you're kicking something away from you. I don't know, like junk food. Um, something that you don't want, like trash, right? You're kicking it away from you, the things that you don't need, right? Out and then in, and out and then in. Then you're going to do out, pique. So you're going to go back to a tondu, but then you're going to change your mind as if something is hot on the floor. It's too hot, you can't take it, whatever. Go down and then down and then in, okay? Two piques. Pique means to prick, right? Now I'm going to go to the side. Side and the in, and kick it to the in. Side and down, and down, and in. Okay, now you're gonna go to the back. We go back and the in, and back and in. Back, PK, PK, and the in. Those PKs, you don't have to like, huh, uh, like it's not like hitting something on the floor. You're not plowing, you're not doing gardening or anything like that. It's more like a little controlled, a little. Dab in the water, dab in the water, and close, okay? Then you're gonna do a few degajays to the side in first, okay, from the back, you just finished. Then we go out, in, in, and a three, and a four, five, and six. Seventh one, you're gonna cross to the back. So now you can reverse it from the back, okay? Just closing in first, degajays off the floor. Okay, so reversing that, we go out and then in and kick the ball or whatever away. Then out and a PK and a PK and a close. Okay, to the back, it should only be your big toe touching the floor. Okay, so don't give me the whole thing on the floor. <laughs> big toe, big toe, and then in. Now we're gonna go to the side. Side and then in, and two, and in. Side and then down, and down, and close. Front and the in, and the front and the in. Front, PK and the PK and the in, and the in, and two and three and four and the five and six cross the front. That's all there is to it. We go out and in, take a shake and in, take a shake out, PK, four, two, side and in, two and in, and three, PK, PK, and to the back. And we go back and P, 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 K, K, side, five and six, cross it back, reverse. I'm turning on an angle so I can go to the back and show you a little bit better, but you got to keep your hips square. On the box, two, three, and a four, out, P, K, P, K, up front, Keep the ball away and front, PK, PK. One and two, three and four, five, six, cross the ground and finish. 
Left side answers, excellent. Here we go. We go front and in, front and in, front B, K, B, K, and in, side. Up and in, we go up, B, K, B, K, and in, back, 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 B, K, B, K, and in, and seven, six, five, four, three, two, cross it back. Is that any higher? Good. And up front. P A P K P A. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Cross the front and finish. We will now work on a foot stretch and round the jump combination all in one. We're going to begin in a parallel position. And in this position, let's just glue our hand on our waist. We're going to pop the right heel up, then the left. Let me turn to the side so you can see it a little better. Three and a four. Then add a plie and a six. Just stretching out our feet after all this pointing. Then we do plie, turn it out, squeeze it up, arms open and stretching. Forward, six, seven, arms on waist. We now gonna work on our ranajam. We go front, meaning the leg circle. Okay, that's all it means. We're gonna go to a tondu front to begin. Then you're gonna trace your toes on the floor, carry it to a side tondu. Trace your toes on the floor, carry it to a back tondu. We just show that to the side. Again, to the front, to the side, to the back. You're rotating from the top of the hip. So I don't wanna see you lose your turnout and point this way. This is the wrong version, right? So you're to the side, you wanna carry it to the back. Okay, knees to the side, heel is lower, toes are going back and in. And we're going to speed up the rond de jambe, front to the back, again, front to the back. Then we're going to do three, fast, and a seven, and closing first. Now you're going to repeat it all to the back. We go back, carry side, carry forward, and repeat. We go back. Turn it out, wrap it, wrap it, wrap it, wrap it, wrap it to the front, and in. Two faster round the jumps again. Then we go to three, fast, six, and a seven, and we're almost done. We go plie, force, arch, okay? Keep those heels high, as high as you can. This should feel real good. It's almost like a foot stretch. And squeeze together your inner thighs. Keep those knees very, very straight. Then from this position, this is called a releve, meaning to rise. You want to try to let go of your apparatus if you can and find your balance. Okay, if I face side, okay, your heels are forward, so they're not staying back sickling. But you don't sit into the back. Squeeze those inner thighs like crazy as if you have a Pilates ball in between your inner thighs and you want to squeeze it in and you don't want to drop the ball. Right, ribs are in, tummy is tucked in, chest is open, chin is up a little bit. Bring your arm to the first position, elbows are up. Don't do this, okay? Keep those elbows up. Use those arms, that's gonna help you balance as well, okay? And you're gonna stay up and then come out of it. So the whole combination, we're gonna begin four little foot prances. So I'm gonna add four more foot prances, adding a plie. Plie, turn it out, squeeze it up, and stretch forward, six seven, and a eight. Front, run the jump, side, back. Again, slow, seven, and eight. Two quicks, two, and a three, and four. Three, even quicker, seven, and eight. Reverse, back, side, front, leg, circle, lean from the back, and two, two, and three, and two, and three. Plie, a heels up, releve, we hold and hold until the end of the music. Three and four, come out of it with plie, hold and finish. Arm on waist, footprints up, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a plie, 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 plie. Turn it out. Prepare. We go. 
go forward, stretch over. Up and on the waist, we go front, carry step, carry back, and in. Again, round the jump, nice and slow, double time, and back. Again, three, we go one. Now reverse, we go back, carry side, rotate forward, in and in, again, in a side, and a front, add some speed, we go back, carry forward, back, carry forward, and a one, and a two, and a three, last bits. We go to the heels, up, squeeze your inner thighs, shoot those knees very, very straight, and it's always okay to hold on to your apparatus if you don't have your balance today, that's all right, it's more than all right, you're just here to learn, and you can go back to it at any point, and lift, finish, and hold. Beautiful dancers, now let's go over to the left. Starting in parallel, hand on our waist, we go heel, and heel, and three, plie on and one, and two, and three, and a four, plie, rotate out, and squeeze it up, and forward stretch. Waist, front, carry side, carry back, again, to the lift tall, we go, double time, double time, repeat, back, three, one, and a two, and a three, reverse it, we go back, Again, crease in the heel forward, we go back and front. Three quicks, we go one, a two, a three. First position, we go plie, heels up, releve, and hold. Try to not wiggle at your ankle or anywhere else. Squeezing those inner thighs that will help you balance. Open your arms down to the side. And descend and finish. Wonderful job so far, dancers. And finally, we're gonna conclude our class with a reverence, and that is to pay respect to the art form of ballet. So we're gonna begin in first position, and it's a very short reverence combination. Simply going to do a plie and a stretch. We go arms first, open side, leave it there. Plie and a stretch. We go arm third and a third, Re repeat. Plie, stretch, we go arm, open side. Plie and a stretch, arm and arm and bow. And that's all there is to it for today, rubber arms, okay? Again, plie and a stretch, arms up, open and a plie and a stretch, over and a over, plie and a stretch, and arm and open and a plie and a stretch, arm and arm, bow. Okay, and on that arm, when you open it to the side, you can also present it from your heart, add a little bit more joy in it as well. All we need you to do is to follow along with me and let's conclude our class on a lovely note. Here we go. Standing first, we go plie and stretch. Arms open up to the side, plie, stretch. Third, third, repeat, plie and a stretch. We go on and open, plie and a stretch. Get ready to bow. Bravo, dancers. Thank you so much for coming to class. 
Wonderful job, dancers. Cheers to you on completing another online ballet class here on Plea for the People. I hope you had a wonderful experience today and feel free to subscribe today, share this video, like it, or write to us directly at pleaforthepeople at gmail.com regarding any feedbacks or inquiries. I would love to hear from you and until our next episode, please stay healthy, stay hydrated, and keep on practicing your plies. I look forward to seeing you again. For now, adios.